I was going to do a step-by-step -step on how to do this, but it turned out to be so embarrassingly easy that I thought I'd just give you a walkthrough. So here's the futon frame, and when you when you bend it up, when you bend up the, uh, whatever you call these things, it's not going to be right in the middle, it's going to be to one side. So the trick to that is you've got two bolts down here, right, uh, right there and right there. All you need to do is take those two bolts out of each side, take this frame part off, and do a 180, and reattach it. And that's going to give you, that's going to make it pretty much centered, close enough for who's ever going to eat out of this thing. <laughs> After that, it's a matter of, I got four of these U-bolts, and just cinch those down and tie it into place so it's, uh, not going anywhere. And then I had some leftover lumber, I made a box for everything to fall down into. Raised a little bit off the ground with uh, some blocks down there. That is it. I spent 20 bucks on the futon frame off of Craigslist and six bucks on U-bolts and everything else I had. So it's about six, seven feet long and it's going to feed a lot of the alpacas. It'll work for goats, sheep, whatever. But uh, considerably cheaper than the last one I bought. I uh, bought it new, and uh, it's half the size. So, feeling better about this. Good luck.